Milton getting set to slam Florida as a Category 3 hurricane. We're taking a live look at the massive storm now pummeling the Sunshine State already with its outer bands, including 155 mile per hour winds. Experts say it could be the worst hurricane to hit the state in a century. And on the ground, Milton brought heavy winds, rain, and tornadoes. Mass evacuations clogged state highways with most gas stations in the Tampa Bay area running dry. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Kiana Burks. And I'm Darren Perrin. While residents in Florida brace for the impacts of Milton, volunteers from here in the Green Mountains are on their way to help. One man from the Northeast Kingdom is among thousands of Red Cross volunteers on their way to the impacted areas. Our Cam Smith spoke with him this afternoon before he left Vermont. Cam, what did he tell you? Yeah, Darren and Kiana, Reed Asaro left from Burlington this afternoon on his way south as Milton makes landfall. He says it's his mission to help wherever he can. It's the world to me to be able to give back to people. Red Cross volunteer Reed Asaro is one of more than 700 additional volunteers headed to the southeast. Asaro will start in Georgia and then respond with other Red Cross volunteers to assist in shelters and provide supplies where needed. But he says it's about more than just that. Oh, it's as simple as sitting and having a cup of coffee with somebody that's just been through it. And if you're able to give your time and, and take it and step away from your reality to help somebody else with their reality, it's important. The Red Cross says more than 2,000 volunteers have already been deployed to help in the most impacted areas, where they'll stay for the next two weeks. Here at home, Vermonters are coming together to help support the victims of Helene. Hewlett Trucking in Paulette is filling trucks with essential items like blankets, cots, and even generators and sending them to affected residents in North Carolina. We said, you know, they would probably do it for us. So um, we're going to do it for them. Mandy Hewlett says the company is working with local churches to figure out where to send the trucks. One is already there. Another <laughs> on its way. And a third is being filled in southern Vermont. It's unbelievable the outpouring of love that people want to like just like you know, wrap their arms around North Carolina. Hewlett says she anticipates a total of five or six full trailers to make their way south. And while many collect items, the Red Cross encourages Vermonters that want to help to donate money. We have the ability to use financial donations to reach more people in need more quickly. For example, a $5 donation can buy a blanket for someone in a shelter. $11 can purchase a warm meal for someone who needs it. Now, officials are saying you need to be careful on where you donate your money. Experts recommend finding legitimate charities with a donate button on their website. They say to do your research and don't feel rushed to donate. Now, that feeling of being rushed can come when you see pictures like this on social media. This one is a fake. AI generated images also like this one showing a child holding their pet are everywhere online. Some also include links to donate. They say don't do that. Even some images like this where a dog can actually be seen carrying a child which absolutely is fake as well. Experts say don't act on your emotion and always ensure you're donating to a reputable organization. We'll have a link with places to donate with this story on our website, wcax.com. Darren.